And let's see if Judd Trump can get the season off to a successful start. He's won 22 ranked titles, 14 in the, in the last three seasons, so really has stepped it up in the last few years. Rod Lawler is going to get us underway, very experienced player from Liverpool. It's four frames, remember, first to three, but it can be a 2-2 draw. Delighted to be joined today in the commentary box by Liam Highfield, who we saw yesterday. Didn't quite get through Liam, but, uh, well, you can take it easy today and watch everyone else sweat. Yeah, first time for me commentating, so really looking forward to it. And obviously, world number one to start for me commentating, which is great. Just a word on yesterday. You had the chance, obviously, going into the last match, but uh, Dave uh, Dave got the job done. Yeah, kind of declined as the... Uh, my performances declined as the day went on. And, you know, I was just a, a little more poorer than Dave yesterday. And, uh, yeah, good to see him, you know, going on to the to the next stage. When I saw this group, I mean, Judd will be favourite in any group he plays, but it's an interesting one, isn't it? The, the three players he's got, you know, they're all a kind of a particular type of player and they could frustrate him today. Yeah, obviously all much higher shot times than uh, Judd. Um, Anthony Hamilton's probably the heaviest scorer out of the, the other three, which could, could cause Judd um, a little more opposition than uh, Lawler and Lee Walker. Well, it's good to see Trump here. We've seen uh, plenty of him the last few years. Of course, won the world title two years ago starts the season number one in the world Mark Selby is uh, sort of uh, snapping at his heels a little bit of course the uh, the half a million at the world championship helped but uh, I'm sure we'll see plenty of Trump in the latter stages of tournaments as I say he's won 14 ranking events in the last three seasons and as we know he's a very heavy scorer 90 centuries last season it was actually worked out by Sport Radar, who do all the stats that he potted last season. 11,373 balls. That was almost a thousand more than Mark Selby in second place. That's a lot of lot of pots. I think if Rod can't get through to the red in the middle, it's going to be a pretty tough safety with two reds bulk side of the of the blue spot yeah, he could get through to it that's a good good first pot for rod I remember Trump saying about Rod Lawler a few years ago that he, he acknowledges, obviously, he plays at a more moderate pace, but he feels that he is an attacking player. He doesn't just go out to try and mess the table up. Six. Trying to get his tour card back through the Q school, uh, but missed out. He won five matches there, so he's quite high on the top-up list. Hence, he, he's invited into this event. And we'll be in a few others as well this season. Seven. This is an important shot early on. Hopefully, can flick the the two reds away from the black spot and develop them and and, and land on the red uh, to continue the break. Fifty. 
I was thinking these short formats, the first frames, massive, you know, if you go 1-0 down, uh, you, you know that you've got to win the remaining three to to win the match. Otherwise, you, you're sort of playing for a draw if, it, if you lose another frame out of the next next couple. Lord Lawler returned 20. 50 this year. He has been as high as 20 in the world. He got to a ranking final a quarter of a century ago now, the 1996 International Open. In terms of the head to head between them, it's actually pretty tight. Trump leads it 4 3. So Lawl has got those three wins to, to call on. It wasn't too many years ago where Rod was sort of in the, in the top 48 and uh, I think he won a, a PTC event and he was going quite deep in them events. I think he had a, a few problems with his with his cue and his chopped and changed since. You know, that might have contributed to a um, decline down the rankings and then off the tour. But um, hopefully he can... Uh, get comfy with the queue and, and, and work his way back up. He strikes me as someone that will always be playing snooker. If it's on the Pro Tour, if it's on the next tour, whatever, he just it's in his blood, isn't he? He's a pure snooker man. Feels like a big shot though. He's just trying to work out whether to take black or blue. It's back to the black, I think. Rod Lawler, 31. Took a long time deciding on that and maybe just didn't feel that confident on it. Let's see what Judd Trump can do. Then. He's only played one shot so far, as we see the Miss Black. This tournament in the Invitation, when it was the Invitation event, was a breakthrough for Trump. He won it in 2009. What? Beat Mark Selby in the final. He was only a young man then sort of making his way but that was the first time he sort of mixed it with the top players and then just a couple of years later when the China Open got to the world final and so on and so on Seven. You had a front row seat to Liam of course at the Crucible this year you played him in the first round how, how was that as an experience? Yeah, it was really good. Um, he he played quite well, and uh, it's good, good to see him up close, sort of thing. How he goes about it. Um, you just can't leave him anything, can you? Um, I think good point today is that the table yesterday played really well, so this could this could lend itself for for Judd scoring heavy today. Perfect. It was quite light, easy to screw back. Um, so yeah, I fancy fancy a few big breaks from Judd today. Yes, his first outing since he lost to Sean Murphy in the quarterfinals in Sheffield, so been on holiday as, he, as he's entitled to be. But I'm sure he's been practicing this week just to try and get in shape for the new campaign. He's there to be shot at as world number one. I think he quite enjoys that, though. I think he quite enjoys that status. 20.
21. He's done pretty well with that shot. It's always a, always a tough shot to stun run through off two rails to land on a red. Yeah, it's always hard to, to judge the stun and the run through to sort of get the pace right on that shot. Thirty five. Just from thirty five. Yeah, Trump couldn't quite get into those reds if that's what he was trying, and then obviously wasn't on the other one. So thirty five leads by four. Lawler, of course, is well aware how dangerous a score he is. You know whether he can go for this this long red and, and just miss the reds with the white or not. He could to make it into a shot to nothing. He's got a fairly good cue ball. an area of Judd's game that's that's really improved um, since he's been sort of dominating the, the snooker world as his as his safety. He's sort of he's a little bit younger, he was an out and out attacking but he's definitely learnt that side of the game and it's it's helped his career no end. Yeah I think what he's discovered is winning's fun and if you find the formula as he has done then why change it? So he's plays the percentages much more Foul, to Trump for. It's a good part, good testing black off the off the side rail, and now's his chance to probably close out the frame. Eight. Well, I think any frame when you pot a black like this, you'd be happy. But first of the season, it's uh, a good sign no. for Judd Trump and his fans. scoring that's been the impressive part really of the last few years he's already third on the all-time list of century break makers closing in on 70. John Higgins about 30 behind Higgins of course O'Sullivan he's out in front to say the least over 1100 Trump 808 
for his career. And he's still only 31, so I guarantee there's going to be plenty more. 22. He's aware that the other players in this group are far more methodical, but he's just got to focus on his own game. He'll be prepared for what they're going to do, but it's about what he does ultimately, and it looks like he's won the first frame. Yeah, I think as the, as the match has progressed, I think you'll find Jude playing a lot of thick safeties to get the balls open, and inevitably him first. trying to, to play a heavy scoring game and, and get, get the matches over his quick as possible, like he generally does. Thirty-seven. Thirty-nine. Forty-two. Right-handed Brown. Forty-six. So Lawler was in early in the frame. The in-off in the end, though, was uh, pretty decisive from him. It left the long red on. Joe Trump has made a very nice 64, 64 to take the opening the frame, frame. of the group. Of course, Trump is the big favourite here, but he's still got to get the job done. So far, so good. He leads Rod Lawler by one frame to nil. So the world number one, Judd Trump, off and running here, 1-0 up against Rod Lawler. Table two, Mitchell Mann about to take a 1-0 lead over Chris Wakely, and the top seed in that group is Mark Allen. In the end, a 64 clearance from Trump. No signs, really, of rustiness <coughs> from him <coughs> as the new season begins. Just a reminder, the other two players in this group will play each other next, Anthony Hamilton and Lee Walker. a bit wild and he may have had a result with the red and the brown here he was looking at everything here wasn't he Rod <laughs> yeah and as you said it's a well as Judd said it's, it's an interesting combination for a, for a player to be um, quite methodical and slow but also really attacking uh, as he was there and 
Um, missed it by quite a way. I think he might have got away with the, the red next to the brown. Maybe maybe got away with the one over the pocket with the blue as well. So I don't think it's come out too bad. It's amazing. I mean, as the balls are running round, I'm, I'm sure Rod Lawler thought, you know, this could be 2-0 here. Yeah? <laughs> but if he's had a bit of luck, then maybe not. Crazily enough, it looks a tough safety as well, so he's probably shaping up to go for one. I don't think he needed the easy starter, did he? Well, such a such a great pot, and as I say, you know, so early in the season to be knocking these in, knowing that he'd be potentially leaving pots on if he missed. You wanted to be a touch lower on this black to to remove the red that I think is covering a black spot. Um, unless it goes on the pink, I think it'll be on the brown. So it could be up and down the table for for a few shots. you grew up with him in a way, Liam, you're the same age, you'd have played on the junior circuit, were the signs always there that, you know, this is what he was going to become? Yeah, we were always playing for second place, um, yeah, he's been, a, he's been a great player since he was 10, I think, did he did he win the English under 18s at the age of 10 20. or something? The, the under 15s, yeah, in Gates said, yeah. I think when 20. he turned pro, he... he there was a sort of expectation maybe from himself but certainly others that he would just sort of breeze through the qualifiers but of course he's come up against the likes of Lawler the, the, the hard match players who made it hard for him and he did have to learn his, his uh, how to sort of adjust to, to this level, the elite level from 26 yeah as you said the whole frame became more awkward with that black having to go where it where it's gone on the pink yeah, spot such, such small differences with um, positional play whereas if you if you get one shot right early on in the break it can it can lead to a frame winning break you get you get it wrong and and inevitably sometimes it breaks down chance here to be really aggressive and go into to pink red and black to try and uh, make it so it's so it's much easier easier position wise
some. Would have liked to have been high on the blue there to, to play for the blue that's on the black spot and then following that play for the pink which I think would go on the black spot and it'd, it'd be like a normal position for break building. Average shot time so far, Trump 19 seconds, Lawler 30.4 seconds, but I mean that's not a great shock really. What matters is whether you pop the balls or not. Lawler knows uh, when Trump stroked in that long red at the start of this frame, that could have been 2-0. But he's got a chance for some table time, of course he had a chance at the start of the first frame as well. Stun the red closest to the pink spot and leave the, the gap between the other two reds for the for the black and then should have the black on its spot and it's a good chance to to take the second frame really. Twenty. Obviously tight, his first reaction told you that, his second reaction told you similar. Coming around again now to look from this angle. Has the yellow, if not. Yeah, to land on that black was a real key shot in this break. He may have to play it with a tracer right hand side and and just square it up a little bit. Rod Waller 20. Didn't quite thicken it up enough and um, Trump leads by six points but he's got a real good opportunity now. Yeah, and Lawler knows it. Oh, meanwhile, Trump misses immediately. Touch him off. Just didn't see that coming, really. Sometimes as a low rank player when you when you're playing a a real top ranker it's sometimes surprising that when they do give you chances and you, and you get up and you're sort of not always ready for it because you you're so used to seeing them just just clear up and sort of st startles you in some ways that you know that they've missed or or given you an opportunity and therefore sometimes you don't take it because of that 
suddenly it's become cagey, black over the pocket. Sort of frame I suspect Trump wasn't wasn't uh, necessarily hoping for, but uh, he missed. He had the chance there. the black over the pocket allows you judge to go for the red in the middle and I think he can play in such a way where he, he leaves nothing even if he misses it which always takes the pressure out of the shot and give, gives you an increased chance of potting it oh. wow I thought that was in Dave Gilbert was talking about I thought the middles were quite harsh did catch the jaw in fairness so that's why it stayed out Struck that pretty nicely, and it's always tough to control the cue ball when the, when the object ball is so close to the pocket. So he's got Eight. a choice of a couple of reds and a chance to build a, a small lead, sort of going to the colours. Seventeen. Seventeen. 
see from that angle, especially there, that rod, when he's so it doesn't really queue up to the object ball, a little bit like um, a player from my area, Dave Harold, where they just sort of not many, not many preliminary waggles. He just sort of hold the tip there and pull the cue back and fire. Doesn't look like he's come far enough for the red to the yellow pocket. No, that, that shot there is a prime example of how well the table's playing because it sort of grabs the white more. Um, he, he's not gone through with the cue ball because it because the white ball's playing so light. Lawler. 28. Well, he's got himself 22 in front. Just to say, Mitchell Mann's 2 0 up against Chris Wakelin on table two. And in fact, Mann will play Judd Trump in the first round of the British Open here in a couple of weeks. Possibly not the frame he was dreaming about last night when he went to sleep. Good safety shot from Rod. Reds are going to be heading towards that yellow and brown area and it's going to probably take quite a while to resolve itself.
Oh, the miss. Rod Law of four. Don't necessarily think that was uh, Judd's fault. I found the table yesterday was drifting slightly left to right as we look. So I think the cue ball's veered offline there into the yellow and he's just trying to drop on the two reds in bulk. Mistake and a chance for Lawler, who's already already 26 in front. Yeah, it's that position on the red after this, really. the yellow clearly and even worse wh where the yellow's gone even if he was able to bend well he can't bend around the brown but prevented the, the red going into the green pocket so it's put the green safe -ish and wait for another chance that uh, could have been potentially frame over if he gets on the red but he didn't get that far Trump needing to keep his patience here Well, a bit of concern, I think, now for Lawler. I mean, with the lead he had and the, the chances he's had, you know, he was favourite for this frame, but maybe not now. Things have opened up. This is a chance for Trump to get back in. Another chance for Rod if Pies is good red at medium distance he just needs red colour red to leave Judd requiring snookers well firstly how's the brown not gone in <laughs> secondly another chance missed and that's it you know it's not just about being in control of frames it's about ultimately potting the balls and he's had chances Last two visits, the Brown somehow has hung on. Now Mitchell Mann, with 132 break, has beaten Chris Wakelin 3-0. So what a fantastic start for him over on Group 5. 
are clearly running a bit quicker than this table and Mark Allen and Daniel Womersley will be next up but that's a great start for Man, not least the break as well, the one three two, because of course high breaks can ultimately decide the group, he's got one in nice and early. in but it's got the wrong angle on this black so look at the brown to get on the red play that well positive thin to avoid the cue ball trapping mm -hmm. five unfortunately for him brown and black have both covered the opportunity to pot the red Or maybe not. Six. Well, there'll be some frame to win now. As I say, the, just the way it went, he was second favourite, but Lawler has not been able to get in when he's had chances to Yellow. potentially go on and win it. Trump 21 behind. Just from six. I don't think Lawler's got any problem playing the safety game and the lane snookers and so on. It's just whether he can pot enough balls in this match when he gets the chances. He's had a few in this frame. There's a slight advantage to, to Trump if he does manage to pot the L that he's left-handed with the green and he's obviously got enough power to, to be able to get down for the brown. Um... Lola being right-handed would have to would have to play that same shot with the rest. Half hour frame. That was a good chance to get the snooker behind the black. He's not got it. it now though foul no miss Blood, 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 this is a free ball, free ball. But 
might uh, maybe go and back. Let me a chance for the free ball to put another colour safe. Just wondered because it, obviously 25 in it, if he fouled again, he'd need a snooker. But Rod's going to, as you say, just to close it down even more. This is sort of local lockdown here on table one. Got to hit it this time, otherwise he will need a snooker. the blue to get on the cushion now. Well, he's nudged the pink into a slightly more open position. So if Trump wins this frame in the end, it's some achievement, really. He's, his patience has been exemplary, I think. Seven. Sorry, five. Well, he could call on the brown then, then the clearance was on. He's got to get out of the snooker now to leave himself not requiring snookers. So this is quite an important hit, really. Yeah, Fancy the two cushion. He's going one cushion, I think, just to rest on the brown. Long way to travel here. Five. Ah, so five. makes a big Rob difference. Twenty-four in it, twenty-two on. Brown away and surely with it the frame. Things started going wrong for Trump. Lawler missed that black earlier. And Trump had an immediate chance and he missed the red straight away. Four. And really, since then, Lawler was able to take some sort of control. A very scrappy frame, a long frame. They all count the same. Rod Lola four on the frame. 
Judge Trump has seen enough. So Rod Lawler then stuck to his task and got the results he wanted, which was his first frame of the day. Pretty gruelling stuff, that second frame. It's gone to Rod Lawler, so we've got two more to come. It's one each. So it's one all. Judge Trump, he kept his patience frame. in that last frame, but Rod it was Rod Lawler play. who won it. Two frames, therefore, left to play. This could still be a win for either. It could still be a draw. They're underway on table two in the second match. Mark Allen against Daniel Womersley. Mitchell Mann with a 1-3-2 beat Chris Wakelin 3-0 in the first. Trump won't want another frame like the last one, I'm sure. But as I say, that ready missed after Lawler missed the black, that was really the start of it. Yeah, Judd will be eager to, to make things happen and get on with it, but also sometimes it can be quite hard to to play in that frame of mind, you know, when you're trying to force yourself to get on with it and and, and play aggressively. Sometimes you just got to let it happen and his, his natural game come out and we all know what he can do when that, when that happens. A what? terrific pot. And this is the thing, you know, he's going for his shots, Lawler. He went for the red initially, he's potted that one. But when things start getting scrappy, as we saw in the last frame, he's a master at just closing everything down, protecting a lead. Three. 
Rod Lawler three. <laughs> and he's just getting away with a couple when he misses, not leaving Trump in. Just gonna have to play some kind of containing shot here with the with the red and bulk. Obviously you can't can't leave the white up there. In terms of who comes through this group, they'll join a group that at the moment includes Jimmy Robertson, Tom Ford and Stuart Carrington. We've all obviously won through already. It's a big shot and a great shot from Lawler. Really had to get that red and he did. Yeah, it was kind of all or nothing that that red to the middle. It would have left a number of reds on for and, and the ball's in a very good position to make a big break, but now that's gone in, he's got the chance. Speaking of big breaks, Mitchell Mann's one three two didn't last long on the other table. Mark Allen's at a one three seven. That equals the highest break. The Championship League this year, Stuart Carrington had one in an earlier group, so uh, some standard over there already. Six. Bear seven. in mind, Liam, that's Mark's first frame of the season, a 137. Not a bad way to start. Yeah, he's obviously been. Putting the work in to to produce that kind of standard from the off. Yeah, Sean Murphy was saying the other day he's been up to Antrim to play Alan and Jordan Brown and he said they were both playing brilliantly in practice. Twelve. I'd like to see Rod leave one of the two reds in bulk up there by the time he gets down towards the black end because then if you if you try and play for the blue and land bottom side you, you've always got a, a red in reserve Seventeen. Yeah, so definitely play for a for a red black half of table now and leave that one on the green side just in case you have to go for blue and land wrong side. he hasn't done but hopefully he can keep his cue ball 20. under tight control 
and build a sizable break here. Doesn't look like that's worked out. No, I decided to take the risk there rather than just play for a singular red. And um, unfortunately for him, the reds haven't resolved themselves into too well to, to continue the break, I don't think. Disappointing for Lawler, but He'll be feeling good about things at the moment. You see Trump just make a few errors and he himself has ponded some good balls. Has a chance to get something out of this match. Possibly all three oh. points. Oh, he's just feathered the white, has he? 26, <laughs> yeah, he's sort of... Yeah, the, where the white is, he's unable to get back to bulk here, so... It's just a matter of just containing the issue. Unless Judd could make something happen and get back to bulk but I don't really think it's possible No, he's left Judd with a chance to to get a white white up in the bulk area. It's a touching ball, just. And touching ball gives him more options to to put Rod back in some trouble now. Yeah, and the good news for Trump, it's still an open table. You know, the blacks available, reds are open. So if you were to get in, you'd have a chance to put something substantial together. I think you could, the players are sort of suggesting there that that's sort of turned, as I said earlier, to to the green side of table as we look. It's sort of bent round with the drift. Yeah, I mean, as good as he is, <laughs> I'm not sure he could have quite bent it round the brown like that. It did seem to drift. I think it'll be kind of figure, figure of eight safety round to the green side of the table here. Probably red into the black and cut off, cut off the, the yellow side of the table. That's a good safety shot.
Rog's tried to do a similar thing there, but cut it a little thick. Maybe a shot to nothing here for Trump. Yeah, I don't think the, the stop-start nature of this match is really suiting Trump's game. And unlike George, um, it's been a little bit off from distance so far in this match. So Lawler back in, sensing an opportunity here, not just in this frame, but in this match. If you can win this frame, then there's a chance to take all three points against the runaway group favourite. It's possible to win a group having lost your first match, but it's unusual. Peter Lines did it on the very first day, actually, but he, of course he was requiring other results to go his way, which they did. Six. It's a little bit unlucky, it's twice he's played into the to split a few reds open and both times this frame it's not it's not what? happened for Rod. I think he played the right shot there. He could have done with slightly more to the right of pink, which would have, which would have brought the white more out into open play. Rod can only see one red here, so I think he's going to be forced into going for it. Probably with top spin. Try and get the white as far up the table as you can. And he went for the screw. A chance now for Judd to all back at a 37 point deficit in this frame came right back into this frame yeah Lawler's got away with a couple today not this one uh, it's about concentration this I think for Trump try and clear his mind and focus on what he's yeah. good at which is break building he's outwardly been patient in this match, even in that last frame, which was quite lengthy, and which indeed he lost. Six. 
seven. This is the last of the sort of routine reds left. It'll be a little bit of hard work after after this red. He's gone to develop one and he has. The cannon on the two reds, and then if failing that, he lands on the on the red near near Quite to the right middle. Unfortunately, the cue has gone glued to the bolt rail, so this is this is still a tough shot now. Yeah, just where the white landed made it difficult. Yeah, he was so positive getting those reds into play, but that was a horrible shot, really. So Rod Lawler is 17 in front. And he's still 17 in front. chance now for Trump. Yeah, in potting that red from distance, he just flicked the one off the, the black rail, which means everything's an open play now. And Judd's gone strong favourite for this frame. Rodably sitting in a chair now, kicking himself because he's had numerous Seven. chances to, to build on his lead and take this frame, which would have put him 2-1 uh, up, which means he, he couldn't have possibly have lost this match. An example of Judge Q power there. Judd, one of them few players that plays left-handed and then uses the rest right-handed, I think, as Barry Hawkins the same. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's like anything in snooker. If it, if it works for you, then just stick with it. As we, you were saying about Rod's action, all sorts of different cue actions you see, but players have their own way, ultimately, of playing. Judd Trump uh, has come to life here, though, hasn't he? And this, uh, this could be a significant frame in, in the course of the whole day. Nice. He's looking like going 2-1 down. That's giving the other players in the group real hope. But if he can win this frame, obviously then he has the chance to win the match and then suddenly you fancy him to motor again when he comes back later. So it starts here with this little clearance. Q 
key positional shot here in this clearance left handed player so that gives him a, a little more room for manoeuvre with the cue ball because he's his favoured side of the table Twenty-nine. Checking the scores. He needs the brown to lead by nineteen with eighteen on. Going to be right-handed. Thirty-six. Lawler may feel he's missed a trick here. Forty-one. Be pleased that blue went in, prevents Rod coming back to the table and playing on for snookers. Yeah, key visit that, not just in this match, but possibly in this group. Rod Lawler is staying in his seat. He had chances. He was looking on top in this match, but Judd Trump dug himself out of a serious hole and, of course, now still has a chance to win the match. He leads 2-1. Over on the other table, it's 2-0 to Mark Allen against Daniel Womersley. Man. Mitchell Mann won the first match 3-0, and in fact, Allen plays Mann third up. But here, this is still the first match. We've had three frames. Judd Trump, as I say, just dug himself out of trouble to win the third there against Rod Lawler. 2-1 to Trump. Remember, if it goes 2-2, then that's it. It's a draw. It's a point apiece. Trump, though, looking for the three points. And then it's uh, Anthony Hamilton against Lee Walker.
because look at that um, plant there, well, it's a free ball plant. I think he just squeezed it offline, sort of not being as accurate with his first red as he'd have liked. Well, he's been disciplined in this match and when things were going scrappy, he dug in and in the end Six. it was a good frame to win that third. Saw it a few times last season, there was a tournament early season the English Open where he, the first few rounds came close to losing each time but opponents couldn't put him away. But what was a good scoring good chance point. here has gone astray very quickly. Just a uh, fly or something in his eye line. Not an easy position to build a big break here. It could maybe go into the to the four reds below the pink. Just just miss the miss the pink here. Pink and black, so sort of not go into all pockets, but. Just chose to play for the loose red. He's not got high on the blue there, so he's red, which I would think is sort of a a red I would have left there to, to have a guaranteed sort of backup plan. He's got a remove now, and in the next three or four shots, he's got to start moving some reds, really, nice. to continue the break. Chance to play the yellow here with left hand side. Can it into the four reds and more than likely stay on the on the red closest to the left corner.
22. Played that well and opened the pink spot up even further so that the pink will go to to more pockets now. Twenty-three. Judge Trump had what looked like a good chance in this frame, missed a red to the left middle. Will he get another one? Rod Lawler looking to salvage a point, which for him would be a great way to start the day. In what on paper is his toughest match. Of course, all the matches in this group are tough, though. Looking at the players in it. Twenty-eight. Worth reiterating that if you finish fourth, you get no prize money. So that's the one position no one wants to be in. Important positional shot here, really. He could play for the, the pink into the left centre after putting the red over the pocket or, or screw up the right hand side of the table. Try and get high on pink or blue. 29. Oh, he's come across. That's, that's worked out okay. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Yeah, sure. And the white cleaned here. It gives me time to tell you that Mark Allen's about to win 3 0 against Daniel Womersley. So, two matches completed next door before we've completed the first one here. And Allen 3 0, Mitchell Mann 3 0, and they play each other next. It's what is already looking like a big match in Group 5. Remember, it's live on Matchroom Live. from Rod but the only thing positional wise he's been able to leave as a as a double if it goes in he'll be on choice of book colours but chance is probably not in his favour to to make the double Rod Waller 42 leads then by 36 so many of those and there's been just a few misses that have maybe been un unexpected from Trump first match back of course of the campaign
I think if he ends up getting the three points from this match, he'll be delighted, really. got away with missing that long red so it's just going to be a he may have a go at this but it's going to be a tough shot um, so, so whoever wins the next safety battle there's a good chance great pot well it'll be blue in and out of bulk for probably the red closest to the blue yeah, this is more like it. Right in the middle of the pocket as well. Six. Putting this red it opens up at least another one red. It gets the high Seven. on the blue, which is important. There's a good chance to, to claw back this deficit in this frame. Trying to get low on the black here to play a soft cannon onto the two reds. Ninety. Just on Mark Allen, the breaks he made in that match to win 3-0, 137, 103, 26. 94. Just couldn't quite make a third century, but a pretty good uh, first outing of the season. 27. And as I say, if Trump can win this match now, this will be... I think a good outing as well. He hasn't played at his best, but he's battled. And ultimately in this format, it's just about getting the points. He's going to try and remove that red with the, with the red there. I'm surprised he didn't just play high on the black. And being left-handed, that, that red down the left-hand side rail would have been sort of routine for Judd. So, this last frame in the balance, two points in it. Trump takes three points, or they share two points, one each. Too thin from Lawler. Left it over the pocket. I think he was just suggesting that the, the white drifted there. Nice place to get the white Thanks. on this, this side rail here. Just so you're playing. The white's naturally coming into the table. Nine. 
It means you can play the pot with less pace, which gives you an increased chance of potting the red, that's, which, which was close to the side rail. Well, we've seen Trump play some great snooker, of course, the last few years. Sometimes, though, it's just 16. about battling away. He's made a few errors, but he's got it in his hands now to take the three points from this match. 18. I think Rod Lawler will be disappointed. You know, he's had a chance here to certainly draw, possibly win the match. But he needs something to go wrong soon for Trump. 21. He needs this brown, and it should be victory for the world number one. It's been a tough match, this. At times, certainly not his sort of match, but he's come through it. That's all that really matters. He'll be back this evening for matches against Lee Walker and Anthony Hamilton. Still the favourite to progress to the next stage. So a hard-fought outing. I'm sure he expected nothing less from Rod Lawler, who will be disappointed, I think, at a few missed opportunities. It is Judd Trump who has stuck to his task, and he gets the three points from his first match here in Group 1 of the Championship League. He beats Rod Lawler 